Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD, successfully conducted Flight Test 10 at the Pacific Missile Range Facility, Kauai, Hawaii. This was the first salvo test mission for the weapon system, where two THAAD interceptors were launched against a single re-entry vehicle separated from a threat representative target. The THAAD Interceptor 1, cold condition kill vehicle, scored a kinetic hit-to-kill intercept as planned, and the second THAAD kill vehicle acquired and intercepted a piece of debris emanating from the first intercept. The ballistic missile defense system integrated Flight Test 10 mission objectives were met as the Aegis system initially detected the target and provided target data to THAAD fire control via satellite link. THAAD radar acquired the target from the Aegis Q, which allowed additional time for engagement processing. THAAD also provided track and engagement data to a Patriot system to aid in track acquisition and intercept debris mitigation. The ability for these systems to interoperate and cooperate is a key element of the ballistic missile defense system. Soldiers exclusively conducted the THAAD radar, launcher and fire control operations for the successful mission. In the pre-launch mission scenario, the launch and test support equipment performed checkout on both interceptors, verifying the launch and test support equipment to interceptors interface for electrical and message communications. Using a tactical combat radio network, THAAD soldiers executed a synchronized crew drill to activate the fire unit and verify an operational state to support the mission. To support the ballistic missile defense system integrated flight test objective, THAAD fire control established and exchanged external communications for mission operations with Aegis and the 94th Army Air and Missile Defense Command, while Patriot participated in a receive-only mode. A threat representative separating target was launched from a mobile launch platform positioned offshore of Kauai in the Pacific Ocean. THAAD fire control received critical target situational data from Aegis and in turn fire control queued THAAD radar from the Aegis track report. THAAD radar acquired and tracked the target vehicle and through a system of fiber optics the radar system sent the target message inputs to fire control. The sophisticated software in the THAAD fire control system calculated an intercept plan for each of the interceptors to destroy the target. Fire control then transmitted the intercept plan through fiber optics to the THAAD launcher, where it was transmitted into the mission computer of each interceptor. The launcher received launch commands from fire control, applied power and established communication with both Flight 10 interceptors and executed the tactical launch sequences for each interceptor. Following launch of the number one cold condition interceptor that was designated to achieve target intercept, radar erected an acquisition fence and acquired the interceptor. The number two THAAD interceptor launched following a pre-planned time interval and radar then tracked both interceptors. The booster aft skirt flare deployed on each interceptor, was steered using thrust vector actuation and each interceptor's kill vehicle exercised the divert and attitude control system. The boost motor on each interceptor separated from the kill vehicle when a certain level of thrust tail-off was sensed. Both kill vehicles received target updates from radar throughout the flight test. During mid-course, each kill vehicle's shroud that covers the infrared seeker separated from the kill vehicle exposing the seeker. Each seeker began cryo cooldown at a sufficient time prior to target acquisition and oriented each kill vehicle to acquire the target. Target re-entry vehicle deployment from the target vehicle boost motor section began shortly after boost motor burnout. Radar discriminated between the separated target motor section and the re-entry vehicle. The re-entry vehicle, now flying a ballistic trajectory, became the separated target for the THAAD kill vehicles to intercept. Radar provided the target object map to each kill vehicle and used this information to perform onboard designation for an intercept of the re-entry vehicle. The final phase of Flight Test 10 Endgame was the cold condition Interceptor 1 kill vehicle seeker tracking the re-entry target, guiding the kill vehicle to the aim point on the target and destroying the re-entry vehicle target with a kinetic hit-to-kill intercept. The number one cold condition kill vehicle achieved target intercept as planned and the Salvo launched second kill vehicle also achieved intercept on a piece of debris emanating from the initial intercept. 
This successful mission provides confidence to move forward for a future two-on-two -two salvo mission. Two THAAD interceptors against two separating targets. The mission also provides valuable data for the ballistic missile defense system goal of interoperability as THAAD, Aegis and Patriot interacted in Flight Test 10's replicated tactical scenario. The collection of critical data from Flight Test 10 is being analyzed to evaluate the entire system's functionality and all possible risk reduction actions will be incorporated into THAAD Flight Test 11 and beyond.